Okay, everybody, kind of have a lot of stuff to show you on this one, I think. No, okay, maybe not. <laughs> so, basically, all I'm doing is this. Init noise texture. Okay, so we're making a texture. Um, we're basically initializing each pixel from the texture. So here's the width and height. Here's the data. It's a bunch of floats. Okay. Um, this is used in the noise calculations. There's a random color. There's the complementary color of the random color. Okay, so we're using, uh, we're going through the texture, row and uh, column. Okay. And then as we go through, we compute this x factor uh, times color, which is a really small number right up here, x factor, y factor, okay, times the column and row, and then the frequency and a scale, which can change, we can we can modify that, and I should set up some IM GUI to look at that, but anyways, so we go through and we set up a sum as zero, and then we uh, we go through this octave, which we put each octave, zero, one, two, and three, on the red, green, blue, and alpha channel, and of course, when we're on the alpha channel, we want one, because we want it to be completely uh, transparent for this particular layer. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so then we go through and we set a point uh, based on the x times the frequency and the y times the frequency. And then we get a value in from the Perlin noise based on that divided by the scale, which the scale is 1, so it doesn't really do anything. So sum plus the value. Okay. And so we keep adding the value through the octave and then it resets with each particular row and column pixel. Uh, okay, and then the two different colors are chosen, whether the result is less than 0.5 or greater than 0.5, and then the frequency is multiplied and the scale is multiplied for the next choice. And then this is just some uh, debugging that I put in just to make sure that these things would work, because it turns out that you can't use this unless you're on uh, OpenGL 4.2 or above. So I was trying to do it on the OpenGL 3.3 example from another thing. Anyways, so noise text is generated the texture, bind texture. Uh, you have to set the text storage. The main thing is you're wanting to do the 32F float, G RGBA 32F. Okay, and then when you do the text sub 2D uh, call, this is just a basic, I don't really know all the, this is like offsets and stuff like that. You can look at it if you, uh, uh, look up what it does. Uh, anyways, uh, GL, RGBA, and GL float, and then the data gets copied over to there. Then you delete the data because it's quite a lot of data, and then it gets mip mapped and all that fun stuff. Okay, let's get to the eye candy, and I will do a screenshot, and I will show you what it does. And so it's literally mapping this uh, to the texture to the uh, circle, which is a lot better than what I was doing before. So I'm going to take a... Uh, screenshot of that. We got to get maybe twerk the uh, colors. Twerk. Huh? <laughs> How about tweak? <laughs> tweak the colors to get kind of orangey, orangish maybe, and then we can get some um, star looking stuff there. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more.